feeling is good coming into the team, checking out the vibe of it, meeting the players, the people around. Yeah, it's, it's been great so far. All right, so we're currently on a coach. All the boys at the back, obviously, because we're the rowdiest, we're the loudest, and we're the one with all the beer. No, I'm joking. Um, yeah, we're on our way to the pyramids, uh, one of the eight biggest uh, mysteries of the world, including Durka's mum. No, <laughs> joking. So, <laughs> um... <laughs> no, I'm only joking. I can't remember what they call it. What is it? Wonders of the world. That's it. Alright, so we're currently at King Kip's uh, chamber. Uh, this is his pyramid, apparently. Um, we couldn't go inside, but uh, we managed to obviously scale a little bit of the pyramid to the entrance. It's kind of cool. Look at, as you can see, one rock, size of me. I reckon I could lift it with one hand but on a good day. But no, like as you can see, when you're when you're close to the pyramid, it's actually kind of crazy to see how big the rocks are, and then actually think about how. Back in those days, they could have actually done something as crazy as this. So, like, it's kind of cool. It's very hot. So, as you can see, I'm in the shade, away from the team. But the team's over there. I think the whole boys are drained. You know, going outside, all this vitamin D, they don't, their body doesn't know what to do with it. Yeah, the pyramids were a, were a blast. We were running around some camels and stuff, but yeah. It was good, it was huge. I didn't expect so much huge, but it's good. You hungry? Yes, I'm so hungry. I can eat dessert snake right now. <laughs> This, yeah? Yeah. It looks like peanut butter. But it's very like more better. It's peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> Is this she peanut butter? No. It's much better right now. No, that's nice. Don't try some. Yeah, let's see. The pyramids for me, because you've seen them so often online and you have kind of expectations. I think the pyramids did kind of fulfill those expectations. The experience uh, going to the pyramids was, uh, I mean, it was nice, except for the fact that I was hungry the whole time. But uh, yeah, first time being there, it's cool to see, you know, glad I got the opportunity to. And seeing a landmark built like bloody like 5,000 years ago is kind of crazy. So yeah, it was, it was a good experience. Yo guys, for now I missed the care. I've been donated to Vlogger for the next three years. I've been given a new contract. <laughs> We're gonna go do some media where Jake's been sat for three hours doing nothing. <laughs> so very excited. Alpha, how are you doing, bro? I'm good, bro. I'm here, like, alhamdulillah. You're here? Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Yes, man. Talk to you. The venue is cool, it's like first time being in a proper big stadium. Usually we've been in like small like basket room like stadiums and stuff like that, but this is like a big proper dome. The stage is cool, the venue is a bit like not freaky but like a bit strange because we have to walk a lot to crack rooms. There's only one elevator in the whole venue seems like and the others are like super far away. To coming into the team, just uh, checking out the vibe of it, uh, meeting meeting the players, the people around. Yeah, it's it's been great so far. I think Leo seems to be meshing with the team quite well. He's quite a shy personality, but 
he laughs at my jokes, so that helps. Um, so that's always a good start if someone's laughing at your jokes. Yeah, I think in the long run we'll be we'll be chilling. Set design in here. The, the boxes, flags in the distance with the light shining beyond it. I'm getting a vine vibe. We're definitely on vine. The driving is very interesting, it's like they don't care, but uh, no no accidents so far, so and hopefully none to come, but uh, yeah, they're driving very careless. The first thing I noticed was that they don't care about lanes, <laughs> driving lanes, they just drive in the middle, they just drive wherever they can, but yeah, very different from home, and it's cool because you get to experience it. Yeah, I'd say Egypt is a lot different <laughs> to the UK. I guess the different in culture in this country is I think people are a bit more outgoing compared to the normal Swede where people are a lot more reserved or like the MENA region overall compared to Nordic people. They are friendly. Uh, they are like, I don't know what it is mean on English, but it's like hot blood. <laughs> uh, they are good people. What's your favourite knife on a uh, 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 Prank Prank Karambit. Karambit. Yeah. Uh, it looks like a banana. And I like bananas. So I say, um, in terms of practice, we're not quite at the level as we were in Champions, let's just say. Let's just uh, be quite uh, blunt there. You know, we, we're using this event to kind of practice other things anyway, like win or lose, it doesn't really matter. But obviously we still want to win, like we don't want to kind of lose here. We want to take the trophy because it, it's still a stage game and it's still a competition. But um, honestly, I think there's not as much preparation going into it as champions, for instance, or masters. You just come into this tournament just to like test a few things, get on stage, get a bit of experience, you know, have fun and ultimately we're going to come out destroy kids, especially with Leo, so that'll be fun. It's been it's been limited amount of practice going going into it. We're just kind of pugging it out, just uh, you know, relying on the individual skill of the team. It seems like we we managed to find a nice lad again, and that's good. And then in the game, you know, like he's quick to he's quick to learn, and he's a he's a great player. Uh, Fnatic will be strong with Leo because Leo is a good player and he has good initiator, so we will be strong. Phantom or Vandal? Vandal. Why? One taps. Uh, Phantom. Why? Because when you're shit, you know you can always rely on the spray. Uh, Phantom. Why? Yeah. I, I play smokes, so... Free Free smokes. No traces. One ball. Why? Because I'm the one tipper guy. I'm not spray guy. Phantom, of course. It's so always clean. It's always clean when you're shooting. No, no RNG. Leo making his debut for the team. No, it's not going to be Mimi, everybody, although they did tease us a lot on their uh, social media. It's Leo stepping in. I actually thought that Mimi would be playing. <laughs> Excuse me, Darker. All right. Now for Fnatic. A man up. Oh, Wait, come that. on. <laughs> Two man up. Come Durka. on. The pure call that Bosa made this round is oh, Durka, oh, go kill. And that is what allows Fnatic to close out this game. <laughs> <laughs> Coming into the first game debut, it was uh, you know, very relaxed, long waiting hours for the game, but uh, you know it was a uh, good Good vibe. See, I think the game versus NASA, obviously we won, so yippee. 
but there were silly mistakes that obviously would be ironed out if we did have that kind of drilled practice. A lot of the rounds we won just because of individual greatness, whether it was Durka closing out the game with that 4K or 3K with the scout. Stuff like that won't be as easy in a higher tier events. So we're kind of scraping rounds out of our ass, essentially. That shouldn't really be happening in the first place because we should be able to play and disciplined and not make silly mistakes. You just don't know how good people are. What's going on? You don't know who's not going to shoot heads on the day. Want to go Who day. is going to shoot heads? I mean, but today we had the. I mean, I'm expecting always to to win. Uh, Going, going in, it, I mean, I don't look at the like big picture. It's just try to win every game, uh, and that's kind of the expectation I have for for every game we play here. I think top one till the finals. I don't think there's much of a struggle here. We can be champion because it is like easy for us for the champions and masters. It's gonna be easy about this tournament, but. It can be hard as well because they are good teams and they are working so hard, I guess. But I'm seeing top one. Ten seconds, Pavlos. It's all on the raise. Other might be caught. He's going to an operator. We're going to have to turn the time. No way. He's done it. Let's fight down in time. Tucker shuts down the efforts of Falcons. Albeit the heroics. Fnatic get it done. Looking to catch them off guard. Alpha, yeah, there's no oh, way to anticipate this. This is it. Now I know where Lander is. It way as, might as well be it. DK, this is their chance. This is their best chance they've had. To get a win on the defense. Recon. Bursa shoots it, but not in time. Oh, they know exactly ah! what it is. And this is the end! The it. Titans have fallen! And DK, the second team in line in Meta, have taken down Fnatic. The GK game, it was that was when myself was starting to feel tired, probably the other guys as well. Going into the long overtime of just playing one game as well. And they were feeling like so hyped, just screaming after every kill round. I mean, we threw it. <laughs> that, that's what happened, really. Obviously, we were stomping them. It was like 12 6 at one point. We just couldn't close it out. Mystic still on site, just trying to stay alive. Brad, three players remaining. And out comes the, uh, the Cosmic Divide, sorry, to try and give them a bit of space as they move in, try and cut off Arcade. That Rolling Thunder is a little bit late, but Fnatic, they'll hit their shots. They'll make it 13 5. So, we got to play Yala now. One of the easier opponents of the tournament, but as we've seen so far, best of ones, anything can happen, so we've got to take it really seriously. Sprays come down and trades come through. There's only two players left on the other side. Make that one, Durka hits his shot. If there's anybody that can bring this one back from the death, it is Issa, but he's going to have to kill three. And that spike is down in a real awkward location, all the way over in tree, and the door is closed on him. There's almost no time to work with whatsoever, and he still doesn't know which decision to make. Mystic will hit the first shot with his Phantom and make it 13-7. It's not happening to Fnatic once again. This time it is Fnatic against Piercer, who, I mean, they had a good game last game, but it wasn't quite enough against Yella. And now two players remain from Piercer, Nuts, Zodiac. Can they retake this one from opposite sides here? Nope. Not from CT at the very least. Boaster will hit his first shot. And now they know exactly where Nuts is. The TP comes through from Durka. He's now got this angle locked down. Leo will also peek through with the help of a flash. They're looking for this kill. Uh, he's in the corner. He's not going anywhere. Alpha, yeah, finishes it off. It's a flawless round to finish it. And it's 13-4 to Fnatic. So we're about to play a Sand. Um, Yinzu's been flaming Durka's Sky stat. So he wanted to play Sky this game. So we might be trolling a little bit this game. But we're gonna go for the win, but we're gonna play some funky comp. I think the goal is like if we win, we win. Get to the finals, but if we lose, then it means that we get to play potentially two games on the stage. And that's why we're here. Like we wanna play on the stage and run the fans. Like if we go to the finals, it might be a bit annoying that we just get one game. So whatever happens today, coin flip, let's see what happens, you know what I mean? But yeah, 
we got some uh, we got some sky, we got some cipher, we got some shenanigans going on. Let's actually go into a focus, think about like what we can do with our agents and think about the game in a more macro level. One, two, three, soon! Leo <laughs> just from long range trying to just get something done. No hit whatsoever, but he does deny the plant for just a second. As the rest of the team get ready to push in once again. But Starzo, he's made his way close in CD. He takes down three before Alfie I can get him with that operator. Bosa is going to find one. Not the second. Roxy is good for the trade. Alfie with another. But it's a one versus two. And it's not happening. Ascend close out the map. 13-9. And they're going to be the top seed heading into the playoffs. They'll be straight into the grand finals. My thoughts about this game. Uh, Fnatic were obviously like um, trying out different roles and the new composition. I think everyone in our team really wanted the win because it's like, you know, our last dance. So they want to just prove themselves individually and as a team. But yeah, it was a good game. It was pretty, pretty cool to play. Um, and uh, like uh, an orthodox composition from, from Fnatic and, you know, different roles. It was nice to see Dirk on Sky. I think he needs to work a little bit, a bit on it. But yeah, I'm sure with time it will get better. So yeah, it was a pretty cool match. I noticed it in the other games on defense, like, it's just, to me, I think it's so painfully obvious when I end it, and we don't rotate. Or we don't do anything, we stand still. Or even like three rounds in a row, we stand on a site against three ults. Like, why are we doing this? It's just really, it's, it's good footage, really. Mystic was like my teammate ever since I joined the team. And it's like we bonded a lot uh, through like, one year and a half, uh, like he became my best friend probably, like in esports and whatever, even like in real life, we, we hang out sometimes whenever I come out. Uh, and it's like really sad to see him go. I'm upset because of this, because Mystic, my friends and my best friends with Enzo, I lost my two friends <laughs> this uh, year. It's a bit sad. I've been with these guys for like so long, so no, this is my last tournament. It's a bit rough, but you know, new new chapters on the horizon. So yeah, it should be just, just come here to have fun. You know, have a have a good tournament, play in front of a crowd again. Uh, if we make it to the finals, obviously. But yeah, nice one. One last chance to say bye to the boys and for now. Whenever we play a team and then get the rematch, we almost always win pretty convincingly. So it just kind of comes down to the boys and their mood. And I think they feed off the energy of the crowd for sure. So a lot of these players won't be used to a crowd. So I think that'll be an advantage. We're jumping straight into the action. And it has to be, of course, Breeze. The first map picked up by Geekay as they'll be playing on the attack and Fnatic on defense. Fnatic with a couple of micro plays easing ahead of GK and this could be the end of their, uh, their streak at least uh, for this particular map as Breeze, their own map pick, seems to be falling out of grasp from them, slipping through their fingers. Shallaby's position as well. <laughs> Telegraphed Leo with the Coupe de Grasse, 13 and 7. Fnatic close out map number one of this series. Now Fnatic are in trouble as they're looking on the outside. Durka. Oh my god! Rocket was the one watching that line. How is it Durka that comes out on top? It's just Durka things, I swear. Now switched over to Vandal. Leo looking to help out. It's all down to Shallaby. Can he hold? The answer to that is a profounding no, but Durka picks up a third and shuts GK down. And their efforts in the tournament is Fnatic to come out with a victory and head to the grand finals. They won them before, Ascend are looking crazy good, but we're gonna have to go with Fnatic. I think it might be Fnatic, like, they really look really good right now. They have a lot of, like, new new things because the, the implement of Leo, um, it might be Fnatic for me. It's time to get started. It's the matchup that everybody's been waiting for, the best of three, and what a better place to do it rather than Icebox to get things started. I believe Monsters just figured out where our fire is. Oh, no. oh, oh, the no. oh, man! Oh man, that's got to hurt for Monster. That's got to sting. 25 seconds I left for Monster needs to get the spike and plant on a site that already has Killjoy Utility in place. 
I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I do like Fnatic's idea, but this allows Ascend, meaning Monster, to get the Vipers picks. Fnatic get it done, 13 to 4 as a final score, and it puts them ahead in this grand final, taking home their own map pick, Icebox. We're in for the second match of the Grand Final Fnatic versus Ascend here at BME Superdome. We're sent on the attack, Fnatic on defense. Couple of sky yep. smokes drop, Fnatic do get the cross towards this A site. Spike will be dropping, perhaps, but no, instead they want to clear out the rest of the site first. Mind you, they've left lamps inoccupied. But Ascend is still wary of it. Viper's pit dropping, and it seems they're going to focus to the right-hand side of the site instead. Remember, they're down in numbers, therefore one more loss would be very bad for them. Orbital Strike comes through, and both the balls, and that's the spike as well. Is that good enough? Durka. Oh, Durka again! This is what Fnatic need. Mystic Ooh. joining in with this thing. Is this really the round where Fnatic win it? Is this really Leo, how they close this out? Leo closing out the distance with back, and now it's all down to Roxy. Looking to spray, but he's showing his ground, man. He's showing exactly where he stands. Fnatic, they close out the tournament. BME Superdome is theirs. I think my biggest takeaway from this event so far is uh, how nice the players have been, you know? Obviously, they're going to be nice to Fnatic because they're like, it's Fnatic, oh my goodness. But I think it's just uh, really nice how kind of accommodating they are and just eager to talk as well, you know? Like, it seems like the MENA region and all the players there, they seem to kind of get along with each other, you know, all talking at these events. I think it's, that's a really nice takeaway, it's just seeing all these people who love the game just kind of having a good time, you know.